welcome back. Happy Sunday, or I should say, happy worldwide to all of you. Got a few people in the house I know. Early, thank you guys so much for showing up early. Get to some shout outs here in just a minute. <clears throat> Getting all my stuff set up. What's up, Tim from New Zealand? Happy, happy, happy day. Thanks for being here. Much appreciated. I know we had Big Red in the house. We had Tariq. We had KJ, Michael Morgan, Eggs and Ham, Jason Brown, Top Dogs here. We're doing it live. Now if I can just find my own stuff to set it up. <laughs> that's too funny, Big Red. That's a good that's a good recommendation right there. Can't beat that. Can't beat that at all. Nice. Mikey Rass is in the house. Let's see here. William Lenderman's here. What's happening, William? I know Tariq was here, Z-Man's EDC, Form D Productions, talked about Eggs and Ham, KJ, D2's in the house, Ara, Ar Ar all members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, including Dane, thanks for being here, Dane. You guys are awesome, man. Man, how'd you guys sleep? Did you guys get some good rest? OCD for EDC is here. What's up, man? Happy travels today. I know you got some good travels going on. Oh, that is a good way to make some overtime money, Mark. That's awesome. What's up, Dennis and John? Yeah, the new Hogs in the middle. We're going to take a look at that in just a minute here. What's up, Marcos? Uncle Cow is here. You haven't been to bed yet? I, I was going to say, you were up pretty late last night. Uh, I saw you on uh, SKL there on Big Red's channel. I was like, whoa, Nelly. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, really? That's crazy. That is crazy, Justin. Oh, man. Woke up two times. What's up, Rusty Knife Lover? Didier is here. What's up, Didier and David Iverson? Members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for your continued support. Uh, been a little... Not just... I wouldn't say not myself. Just a little, like, busy the last couple weeks. Um, I shared a little bit with the members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Um, let's see here. Justin said his flight got canceled, had to switch airlines, and then Delta lost my bag. Oh, man. It's probably carrying some goodies in there, too. Some goody goodies. What's up, Tom? What's up, Paul? Happy Sunday. Happy weekend. Yeah, definitely. What's up, Tom? Don C's in the house. Kloss is here, of course. Yeah, so the last couple weeks, you know, um been having a little bit of a busy time been switching getting ready to switch jobs so that's happening right now which is pretty wild so I'm really digging that I'm just gonna plug my camera in there so I'm pretty excited pretty pumped up ready to go um, it'd be a fun new week some good challenges ahead um, you know I was at my last job for like over 15 years and ready to go. So yeah, it'll be good. I'll share a little more once we get into it. Of course, Nimby clouds in the house. What's up? What's up? But yeah, I appreciate your guys support. It's been fun. Yeah. We're going into hand modeling. So doing some more mo moisturizing this weekend, getting into that a little bit. Yeah. Good stuff there. Oh, I appreciate it, Michael. 
Yeah, it's always it's it's weird, you know. I'm not I'm not one that usually switches up things, you know. But there's an opportunity that came out and uh I couldn't say no, you know. So <clears throat> yeah, Justin's traveling, man. He's traveling and he's tired. Did you did you finally make it there? Everything's safe and sound there, Justin? Oh, thanks, Matt. We'll have an awesome work day. Oh, Big Red. Big Red. Thank you so much, my friend. Let's show some love for Big Red. 10 for 10K. We got so many people in this community. So many great channels on here. Thank you guys so much. Very supportive. What's up, Heart of CDC? But yeah, Mark Grant, what's up, buddy? Yeah, we got some sweet knives to look at today. We got some sweet knives. We have an even sweeter, I'm just going to tell you right now, sweeter giveaway. What's up, Holden? How you doing, buddy? Uh, Justin says, I'm in New York, but I do not have my bag yet. It'll be here by 10 p.m. Woo. Yeah, I'm getting close to my 10K mark, so we're going to be doing uh, 10 giveaways for my 10K. So that's what uh, Big Red's kicking down for. So I appreciate that. The support's awesome. What's up, Ronald? What's going down, buddy? Yeah, OCD, what are you doing in New York? What can you share with us and what can you not? I know there's there's some super secret info he's working on in uh, in New York for us. So for us, for him. <laughs> I told him he's got to get some he's got to get some play time for us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Big Red's really close to 5k. OCD for EDC is really close to 4k. So, we're just trying to get it get it moving for everybody. It's been a slow couple months. I think everybody's getting back to work and not spending as much time at home. But that's okay. That's how it goes. But yeah, there'll be a sweet giveaway today. So we're going to do a, a fun giveaway uh, with something provided by one of the awesome members of the community. So, well, there you go. So Justin ocd 3 says, says, I'm going to be on an episode of This Old House. I hope it'll be fun. So that'll be cool. I'm sure you'll, you'll share lots of fun updates. So make sure you're subscribed up over there as well. That'll be good. Klaus says, I have one member on my channel. There you go. You got to start somewhere for sure. Kevin Millie says, my DECA and bug out fight over pocket time. They could be brothers. Yeah, totally. I totally agree. And I have to say, this one, you guys, if you haven't watched my review on it, definitely go check it out. But this one is gorgeous. There's also uh, a more in-depth teardown. Once you're, once you're done watching mine, click over to OCD for EDC. It'll probably pop up as the next one to watch. One of the few channels out there that have stuff on this knife. But, yeah, it's pretty crazy stuff. So, I want to do a quick look at these, kind of compare the carbon fibers. And then we'll get into a couple other knives to review today. <sighs> this one already has been carried already. <laughs> Here, folks, watch that program. <laughs> Be like my aunt, my aunt Marge watches that. Average knife guy, what's up, buddy? <clears throat> you have all four of them. Nice, yeah. Uncle Cow's almost a two K. And I have to tell you, the uh, Deca is pretty solid. Oh no, the deck is in your bag. Oh, buddy, I hope, yeah, I hope they find it and don't go through it. <laughs> oh man, what's up, Pro X? How you doing, buddy? Deadpool Lee, what's happening? Oh, nice, Tariq. That's really cool. Yeah, your your work is amazing, my friend. I really appreciate that knife roll. That is. Something I carried in my in my bag at work. So I showed off to everybody. Everybody's just like, man, where do I get one? I'm like, it's not available. It's a one-off. 
Oh man, that's that's a bag. That's that's why your bag got lost, man. Justin has the Deca and the TRM Shadow in one bag. Oh man, that's that's why your bag's not not found right now. I'm just kidding, man. I hope I hope they find it, man. I know you'll track it down too. What's up, Jay Nor? What's going on, buddy? Happy Sunday. What's up, CK? Queen Pasa. No notice. Yeah, I put the notice out there. It should have went. I don't. I'm not sure what uh, YouTube's doing. I know most of the times when I when I get on early and talk to people in the chat on other live streams, it won't go for five to ten minutes till after uh, the live stream starts. As I'll get a notification that says, "Hey, so and so's live." You know. You got it, Rusty. Okay, cool, cool, nice. Very cool. Oh, well, thanks, Andrew. Welcome, welcome. Andrew Halbert, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Yeah, if you guys want to join Zach's Daily Carry Crew, you know, if you want to get exclusive content, you want to get some of the custom uh, emojis here, those kind of things, you can sign up, support the channel. Click that little link right there. Big Red just posted up. Thank you, my friend. Master moderator status there. We're gonna we're gonna go easy today though on everybody. It's Sunday morning here on the West Coast. You know, we're still kicking into things. Appreciate that. Uh D2 says, Hey Zach, do you know how many of the benchmade dash one knives have been made? Like the dash one? Oh, I'd have to count those up, D2. So it just really depends because it's all the carbon fiber ones. So I'd have to, I mean, I have to go through and put the, put a list back together. I know there's been there. I know there's been probably at least half a dozen of them, but there's some, there's some ones over the years that the snuck out there. That's out there for sure. For everybody. That's a great question though. I'm going to actually write that down, get that written down on there. Nice, John Evans. Got your uh, up to 500 on Instagram. That's cool. That's cool. Everybody's saying, hey. Yeah, that would be definitely D2. That'd be a great collection to put together. You know, and this is the this is the Benchmade 940-1. It's got the blue barrel spacers. And, of course, I threw some blue thumb studs on it. But it's that beautiful carbon fiber. 940 can't really go wrong you know this is one i use so this is another user right here it's the benchmade 535 1901 to the gold class bug out don't mind the clip it's just lasered <laughs> it's the, the similar pattern to the the dama steel but this has that beautiful c tech inlay with glow in the dark um, mixed into the carbon fiber and to the C tech. What's up, Rado? Rado Outdoors, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thanks for being here. Yeah, it's a beautiful clip. So we'll show you some glow in the dark goodness. You can see the stuff glowing here in the carbon fiber. You can also see this, this C tech light up now. So you can see that glow in the C Tech glows compared to the other side. At night, it's really trippy. You can see, it gets all glow in the dark. I have a cool video on it. I found the darkest uh, room in the house and did some cool stuff with the, the glow in the dark. I did put this Timascus backspacer, a geared backspacer from Rock Scale Designs, on this one, which made it look fantastic. And of course, you got the glow in the dark here from Glow Rhino, but it really pops orange. It's hard to see, but it really pops orange in the middle of that, you know, able bar or access bar. It's hard to show on camera, but it just, it seriously glows like crazy. And then in the very, very middle of it, which goes all the way through, it, it glows like a, uh, kind of like a green at night so last night pitch dark you know it's glowing green in the middle so it's got two kind of means of glow in the dark to it it's got that ring there 
that reflects, and then it's got the internal tritium. But yeah, that's a Blade Show exclusive, that one. Thanks, Big Red, for the links. Those are the Hogue Decas. They don't have a lot of their stock on the Hogue website, um, but one place that keeps a lot of them in stock when they get them is Knife Works. And I saw one that popped up really briefly, and it was gone before I could order one. But it was basically this model right here. Oh, thanks, Big Red. Um, it was this model here, but with a black blade. And I'm like, oh, man. Now, this has the MXG gear clip on it that I put. It's titanium, powder-coated. But I will say this, you guys. Here's your clip goodness on this new Hogue Deca. And from talking to or from, from watching some of the conversations with Hogue on people's videos, this is their Gen 2 in the middle. So... That's going to be the pocket clip moving forward compared to this one, which is a, a wonderful thing to see. And then also you can see here, they got rid of those two extra, two extra screws in the middle of the scale. So it makes it look so much more beautiful. And that's on each side. So if you want to get a really good look at that, like I said, OCD for EDC already did a teardown on his. So he's got that up, but watch my review first and then watch his. So watch them both, get a good opinion on them. But it was kind of funny because I didn't watch his first because I was like, I just wanted to get mine filmed. And then I watched his afterwards and he used the same knife in comparison that I did. We both used this one here, which was the Smoky Mountains, uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive Deca, which I believe is still available on their website. And if you're gonna go get this beautiful exclusive, Celebrate the 4th of July, red, white, and blue colors. It's amazing. Um, make sure to go. Yeah, they eliminated them totally, completely, John. Yeah, they redesigned the liners, too. Make sure to go to a Big Red EDC's channel. So, Big Red, if you can link your channel. And then go to any of his videos. And in the description of Big Red's videos, he's got an affiliate link for Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So make sure to click his affiliate link before you purchase at Smoky Mountain. It won't give you a discount or anything, but what it does is he does a knife giveaway a month from Smoky Mountain, from his affiliate stuff. And so he goes through and does a total like vote on it for the people that are members of his brigade. And then he does a giveaway for everybody. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, exactly, NAF Sergeant. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so, I mean, those Gen 2 improvements are amazing to see. You know, you're getting the, the reduction of screws on each side. You're getting that that deep pocket carry clip. Yeah, exactly, Jeremy. Hogue definitely listens for sure. One of the things was funny. I talked to Neil many, many months ago. And I was like, buddy, what are we doing with this clip? Like... You know, lots of us are going out and either getting the, I think the Civivi clip fits on there as well as this MXG gear clip. And this is for a ZT0450 from MXG. Um, but you know, that clip there is titanium powder coat, it's 24 bucks. What's up, Rodney? Rodney Pearson's in the house. Welcome, welcome. Another member of Zach's Day, the carry crew. And so is Kark, Kark Nelson. What's up, buddy? So those are great things. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Rodney Pearson and OCD Free DC, Justin, um, both you guys talked me into getting that Hogue Deca, and uh, Justin picked one up for me at Blade Show because they weren't exclusive. So I really appreciate that. And I know he had people trying to buy it and all sorts of stuff, um, but it made it here. So I appreciate that, man. And I know Rodney was there. Rodney was there as well to grab one for me. So I appreciate you guys. That's pretty cool. I wasn't able to make it due to restrictions at work. Uh, travel restrictions. There was a 10 day quarantine after commercial travel. And we are just coming out of that here in the state of Oregon. Uh, yesterday, we just got lowered to low risk. We've been in high risk the whole time and extreme. Pretty wild stuff. So I'm, I'm super happy that we can do that. What's up me with knives? What's going down, man? All right. Did we miss any comments down there? 
Kark says, I prefer the bug out to the DECA only because the back of the handle on the DECA has that taper and like the square on the button. Just better when unlocking it. Yeah, and that's one of the only problems I had in the middle. Exactly, Chicago 23. What's up, buddy? That's one of the only problems I had with one of the models was that taper makes it ride so much closer to my heel. And so when it comes down, um, I actually got nicked a couple times on the palm of my hand. Whereas with the bug out, obviously it sticks out further because it doesn't have that taper. So anyways, either way, some great knives, some great look at some carbon fiber, some glow in the dark material. No, the bug out doesn't pinch at all. Does it pinch you? Oh, nice claws. Oh, you've nicked yourself with a bug out four or five times? Oh, yeah. Little pinch. I haven't been pinched by that at all. Some people, I think some people are talking about on this one where, you know, the FRN may pinch a little bit. But I haven't had that problem at all with the bug outs. You know me, I like the bug outs. So it's like, yeah, exactly, D2. Yeah, you just, you got to carry a knife a little bit different. Each one is a little bit different. I had to do the same thing if I didn't like getting little nicks in my palm. Oh, wow. Paul just won a waffle for a Manticore Blade Show special. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, Didier. Oh, nice. You In three weeks, you're getting your other one. Nice. That's cool. Oh, you. Jay says he cuts his pinky on the bug outs mostly. Yeah, that's that's so funny, too, to hear, like, which knife for which people have those little things, you know? Mikey, what's up, buddy? Yeah, the uh, the FRN's good. You know, I, I had, this is the knife where I did all sorts of testing. Running it over, dropping it off a two-story building. You know, got a little nick from hitting the asphalt, the FRN did. Um, you know, doing some prying with it. I chipped the tip of it a little bit. Obviously, I've been using this one since, but, you know, went back to Benchmade, and I'm like, hey, put this one through the ringer. Um, they made sure everything looked good. Got some scratches on it and stuff, but I think I put a new clip on it because the clip got dinged up from hitting the, the pavement a bunch. But I'm like, yeah, they put a new clip on it, you know, worked that, worked that edge out a little bit on the tip, and it was good to go, so... That's awesome. Everyone's doing it, OCD says. Yeah, and I will say, you guys, I sent over, I sent over, you know, I had to take care of of Justin there to make sure that he sent my stuff. And he sent he sent me a little bonus back with it. And so now we have a little bit of a how do you say project? And it's going to be a, a pretty fun project. And I'm pretty stoked to see. But this, you guys, is the CME that Justin makes. And this is kind of a black and white G10. And it's got that little ledge right there. So it's really easy to put on. But it's CME stands for Compression Made Easy. It's designed for these back compression locks on the Spydercos. And basically, you end up gluing it right onto this. And it'll rest right there. And then basically when you're when you're locked up here, you can just push it in and it closes up. So I know he originally designed it for left handies. Lefties, left handies. <laughs> that sounds a little different. But for left-handed people. And uh, you know, it turned into something pretty awesome. So he has some cool experiences with uh chatting with the people at spider co blade show about it and he provided them one and you can definitely yeah there's the link right there the cme right there and he's got some sweet new products coming out so he did a live show yesterday uh ocd free dc did and he showed off some of his new products that he's got going for it so yeah the glow in the dark ones look sick so watch out for the handles oh watch out for the handies <laughs> yeah right or left Watch out for those handies, <laughs> definitely. Uh, okay, so let's take a couple knives off the table here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and 
Oh, in talking about Blade Show, I want to let you know the, the I've been getting some really cool videos and information from a good friend of ours, actually two of them, um, Daily Carry Solutions, Carlos, and Eric over at Outer Limitless. They're both putting out some great videos, but go check out Daily Carry Solutions. Uh, give them a follow. Carlos is a very, very awesome guy. I met him at SHOT Show 2019. Uh, hung out with him a bit, did some filming, uh, you know, at some of the same booths at the same time, but also just hung out with him. He's a great member of the community. What's up, Manny Z? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never late, never late, man. Welcome, welcome. Manny's another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. That's awesome. But yeah, so there's some Blade Show videos right there. Big Red just posted a link for Daily Carry Solutions and Outer, Outer Limitless. Those guys are great. So... We, uh, we spent some good time together. We had down in Vegas at SHOT Show. We had some amazing food and tacos. And, um, you know, it was just great to find some other people that are just as passionate and have fun doing this. So great guys. And, you know, they both went to Blade Show and did tons of interviews. And especially with a lot of our friends like Artisan Cutlery. And if you watch, I'll say this. I want you guys to specifically find his Benchmade video and listen to the guy that's in the Benchmade video and the other guy next to him from Benchmade. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm just going to say, just going to say, listen to the people that he's interviewing and the people at the Benchmade booth. That's the only clue I'm going to, I'm going to give you, but pretty cool stuff. What's up KC knives fast. What's going on, man? Yeah, I heard there was a couple notifications not coming out today. So, it seems to be an ongoing problem. So, you guys might have to set some uh, some calendar notifications on your own there. You know, just to double check and make sure that, that you make it in time. I'm trying to see what gives shadow there. Oh, that was it. That was the shadow. I found the shadow. Okay, uh, Andrew Laughlin, what's happening? It says, I was hesitant to get a hook deca due to the reviews citing the knife tip can be exposed when it is a closed position. Any thoughts on this? I have not had the problem with that at all. Um, you know, here's the closure. You can see there's definitely plenty of room there on the blue version. It's not exposed in any fashion. You know, you can see there's plenty of room right there. Um, it's just one of those things, you know, it's, I think it's one of those that I think it gets better with time. You know, these are the, the drop point versions. I think you're going to get the same out of this one, you know, a little bit less on this one. So I think maybe some of the originals were a little long. And so they were really, really close to the edge, but no problems at all with these. So... And I have the worn clip versions too, and there's no problem with that at all. Yeah, definitely big red. It's so funny. It's trippy, man. I and I can tell you this. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. Da, da, da. Let's see here. <laughs> okay, Jay. Yeah, you can get cut on a lot of stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, Michael, I think if you do if you do like one good sharpening, that that'll probably go away. And you know, I think they were trying to utilize the the most material to get it in there. Yeah, don't forget to smash that like button. Heck yeah. Thanks, David. See Lemansky. Oh, Jason, that is no fun. Well, I hope they find some answers. You're probably drinking some interesting stuff today. Yeah, the Hogue Auto looks great. I know Justin picked one up that's coming out next year from Hogue. They had some prototypes there. Looks pretty sweet. Hogue's pretty cool about that, too. I like how they do that. They bring some new knives to the show, and you can actually purchase them. So I like that. Always fun. Hogue's been, Hogue's been a great knife company where they've been open to talk with anyone. Um, I will say even to, what's up, RJ Knives? 
um, even to open, like when I first started my channel, they were very open to like support the community. You know what I mean? They were just like, yep, not a problem, man. We're here to support. And I know they're, they're still providing swag and stuff to like big reds, SKL and anybody that's doing a giveaway. Usually they send some swag out and you know, they, they did a solid for my one K giveaway. They did me a solid. Um, they had a trouble with an employee and I've said it before and they really took care of business. So Neil, Neil made sure he dialed in himself, but yeah, I checked out that K320. I did a review on that one. If you want to check that out and I, it's on my list. So I'm trying to find the right one. And then they of course showed some like custom ones are coming out with. And I'm like, those look sweet, but they're thinking they may not have those out till like end of the year, beginning, beginning of the year for those. Oh, really? That's cool, KJ. Yeah, I didn't know how supportive they were over there, but hey, what's up, Talbert? Welcome, welcome, man. Member of Zach's Daily Carrier Crew. And also, you know, um, Talbert shared me some info. He's got some Velcro that he can slap on leather. So if you get some of these uh, do something kind for someone patches, if you get one of those or something like that, then uh, he can slap that on some leather for you and get it, get some Velcro stitched on for you. So you can definitely reach out and talk to him on that. <laughs> well, we're almost to 75 people watching. Once we hit 75, we'll do a pocket check. And we'll see what everybody's carrying. I'm sorry, Justin, OCD for EDC. I'm sorry your, your carries are still en route to you. That's a bummer. It's never fun. Kevin Carl's here. Kevin Carl. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Definitely intrigue. Beefer Barron's here. What's up, Beefer? Rolling, rolling. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's good, you guys. All right. Well, let's look at another knife. I'm going to show this knife again, along with another one. Uh, we'll take a look at this Hogue Deca again in another minute, just because it's beautiful. But this is heading out today. I'm finished with my review. This is the Wee Thug. And I have to tell you, what's up, Mark Herrera? The Wee Thug is a fantastic little knife. It's got that kind of brushed look on the blade and the titanium and the clip. Beautiful pivot and carbon fiber. Got a backspacer. A little, a little looky for the lanyard. But just a good little stout knife. Yeah, wicked grind, hand rubbed. It's it's seriously legit. And I can get about three and a half on it, so it actually locks up really good. They are living the thug life for sure with this one. Yeah, John, this is one that you got to grab. I know it's going to be available this week. It's coming out, I think, on the 18th, I believe. You can check your local knife dealers, but also if you have any other knives that you're looking for to pick up from Savivi or Wii, this one right here is the Wii Banter. All right, Tariq, thanks for hanging out, man. I know it's super, super early in the morning or late, either way you look at it there. So thanks for joining, buddy. And thanks for your support, my friend. But you could pick up any of your Wii, your favorite Wii's. Your favorite Civivis. I know Blade HQ has a great sale going. Hey, what's up, Nick Martino? You can get... <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. <coughs> get a drink. Sorry. That just hit me like crazy. But they have a sale going for Father's Day. And it's up to 25% off the Wii and Civivi knives. Uh, Wii's thrown in one of their awesome lanyards as a giveaway. Or not a giveaway, but like a free gift. And then I know places like Blade HQ, if you spend like $119, they're giving away a free t-shirt with it. So you get a free... And the t-shirts are pretty cool. Um, I think Justin showed off one that he picked up. 
at Blade HQ. So yeah, the Wii and Civivi knife Father's Day sale up to 25% off, free lanyard and more. There's a link to Blade HQ. Now several, I don't want to just say Blade HQ, several, almost all of the dealers for Wii and Civivi are doing a sale right now for that. So <laughs> go definitely check it out. There's something you've been looking for. A Civivi Elementum is a great knife. They got really good sales on those. And as a matter of fact, since we got these Wii's out here, we're going to move some stuff around a little bit, but I want to show you <clears throat> something special that came from Civivi and Wii. Came in this beautiful box, beautiful presentation. It's got a little Civivi sticker on the envelope, still sealed up. We'll have to look at that in a minute. They sent a little multi-tool as well. So we'll take a look at that. Got the new Civivi sticker right there. Pretty cool. Put that up there. Uh, they sent another sticker. And this is the lanyard you'll be getting. So let's open this up and take a look at it. Oh, it's sealed up pretty good. Okay, we'll have to cut that open in just a second. They also sent, what is this? Is this the pen? I think this is the pen. Let's check it out. I really hope they do, Nick. I hope they do change it. Okay, so this is their, their lanyard and tool that they have, kind of a combo. Wii knife, Civivi, got their little keychain tool, pry bar. So that's pretty neat that they sent that over as well. This is all just a little gift care package. But I'm really, what I'm excited for is what's in here. I haven't seen this yet. So let's take a peek. Um, ba -da -ba -dum. Justin, OC for DC says, I just want a new Wii Civivi t-shirt at Blade Show. It's a cool one for sure. Um, let's see. Mark Grant said he watched the Benchmade video and he was talking to you. Did, did anybody sound familiar on there? On that video? <laughs> Mark? Because there's one guy that literally sounds just like me. Says a lot of words just like me, too. Yeah, that would be cool if it's a baby banner. Oh, Beaver, welcome to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Let's give Beaver some love, man. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for your support. It's fantastic. We'll have some cool stuff coming up this week for sure because there's another giveaway that's been out there. And, of course, they didn't forget to include the poison for the trolls. So that's in there as well. I like that. So it's in a Civivi little zippered pack. I like that. Yeah, the baby banter is tiny. I don't think this is the, it's not a wee one. So I think this is going to be a, okay, we got some Civivi stickers. Is it just one? Yeah, just one. Put another one there. Get your microfiber cleaning cloth, which is pretty cool. Your instructions, use and care manual. Oh, what do we have here? Maybe a little Elementum. Oh, nice. Let's look at this. Oh, the Baby Banter is a VV. Okay. I thought it was going to be Wii. Look at that. Oh, you just ordered this one? I saw this one was on um, Blade HQ. And I think it's like the... Uh, Guibosha wood, I think. Look at that beauty. That's really cool. Yeah, exactly. Gotta have the poison for the trolls. How's it sound now? Mark Rebele doing an awesome sound test video for our buddy Floss. Flossy Carter. Now that's a beautiful scale on there, you guys. Look at that. Got that black wash blade. 
black hardware. You even got that lanyard hole for the lanyard fans. Deep carry clip. Got the flat screws in there. Yeah, exactly, Rado. Oh, you taking off, buddy? Okay. That's beautiful. So this was this is available on Blade HQ's website right now, and I think it's on sale for $56, this exact knife. It's part of their sale. And I will say this. They told me there's a special about this one, and I think I saw it. Did you guys see it on the other side? Look at that. DSKFS. Right on the blade. That looks wicked awesome. Super groovy. 5625. Okay. It won't have that laser marking on there, but you can get a laser marking on there. That's pretty awesome. That is fantastic. Right on. And like I said, you guys, these knives... I, you, you guys have probably seen me talk about the Elementums before. They're a great knife. I can get a full grip on here. They're pretty decent. I mean, you get the G10 ones for even cheaper. But that wood goes great with this one. They did good. They asked They asked me about that laser marking. You know, what, what, what uh, preferences. And I'm like, I kind of had something in mind with this one. And so I'm like, okay, we got to put the DSKFS on there. So you may see this one coming up in a little while. So stay tuned for sure on that. But I want to see what this lanyard looks like as well. Because there's some true lanyard fans out there. And I just, I want to know like what they're, I guess this, this is what they like. Oh, and it comes with a nice big old bead on there too. So you get a bead and a, you get the bead. Okay, so the bead has like the, I'm not gonna open it in case I do a giveaway, but that's the Civivi logo on the bead. And then it's got the lanyard, just made out of a paracord, kind of a flat one. Oh, you got four elementums now? Nice, and I think this one this one is the D2 version, I think. It's got it right down there on the the bottom of the flipper. If you can see that, the D2. So, pretty cool. I like that they put that on there. But yeah, so I mean, I guess you can get it all crazy here. Yeah, the brass patinas. So you can put the lanyard through and have this hanging off. We'll stick it in there like you have a lanyard on there, so... That's what, for the lanyard fans, there you go. There's a model for the lanyard fans. Looks like a, a fishing lure. Got the tail hanging off. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the wood looks amazing, fantastic. I really dig it. What's up, Randy F? How's it going, buddy? Hollywood Tactical? Yeah, you rejoice. You rejoice as a lanyard fan. Well, I'm excited. That's why I make sure to include it for you guys. Because I know there's most of the knives I'm not a lanyard fan on at all. But there are lanyard fans and I want to make sure you guys get that opportunity. So anyways, don't forget that sale. Big Red put a link. Blade HQ has one of the biggest ones going. Um, if you like this one right here, they have this on sale for $56.25, I think Mikey said. So that's pretty awesome right there. All right, Jason, take care, buddy. Good luck tomorrow. Keep us updated, man. We'll pray for you. Oh, you got the S35? Nice, that's cool. Right on, Nick. Yeah, I like I like their subtle, you know, I like the subtle uh, laser markings, you know what I mean? I like that they put that on there. I like how they keep it clean, you know, even on these. You got your designers on there. I think that's a Christensen design. You know, your Elementum. Got that little What Is Up Guys logo for NAFs. Then they got the S35 down there. So a very subtle laser marking. You know, We Knife gets it. Some good products. So yeah, there's the link again. I appreciate that. That's awesome, Big Red. Thank you so much. No overbranding. Hashtag no overbranding. 
So yeah, so that's the cool stuff about Wii and Civivi. Very awesome, very awesome they sent that gift out to me. So now I got to struggle because you know me and gifts. I like to give stuff away, so. Um, can anyone get DSKFS knife? I think you can pay. I saw on the on the Blade HQ website that you can actually have it laser marked and customized for you for like an extra $14, I think. And you can get that laser marking up there if you want. So you would just have to put that up there and you get that laser marking for sure. That would be awesome though. Like imagine that laser marking. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this out there. Imagine that laser marking on a 940 like this. Like maybe on the clip side. Just saying. <laughs> just you know, throwing out suggestions. But yeah, thank you very much to VV and we for sending that out. That is an awesome, awesome thing. We will go ahead and put this stuff off to the side. We're gonna look at something else here. Got that on there and there. And I did want to talk about something else. Um, Jed, Jed Hornbeak. Um, you guys probably already heard from the last few channels. Uh, GoFundMe's been set up. He lost his wife. Uh, very, very young couple. Um, he's a knife maker here in the community. And anyways, if you can send thoughts and prayers to him or you have a couple dollars to donate to his GoFundMe, um, please do that. Um, you know, uh, another member of the knife community set up some stuff for him. It's a good friend of his. Um, Big Red put the link for the Civivi right there in the Gabor Show. I think it's the Gui Borsha Wood, uh, the $56 one. And then there's the link right there for Jed Hornbeek's uh, GoFundMe. Um, yeah, definitely do what you can. But like I said, just definitely thoughts and prayers for him and his family and uh, and his friends. So nothing, nothing that you ever want to do, but it sounds like it was pretty tragic, sudden deal with a stroke for his wife. And yeah, just a bummer deal. So anyways, as a community, we like to take care of each other best we can. So want to make sure to just spread the word, make sure people are there. And uh, there you go. So never fun to report on and talk about, but we have to because we want to make sure that, uh, you know, we do something kind for someone and, you know, we got to take care of each other, right? So um, yes, Rusty. Yeah, she had a stroke and they have four children. So very, very, very sad. And one of those things that we can do to help support. So. Yes, Leo, welcome. Prays for him, prayers for him and his family. Yes, indeed. Um, Leo says, I need to get back to Blade Show. I haven't been there since 2015. Yeah, I was pretty bummed out about not being able to go this year, but I already have everything booked for Blade Show West. So I know there's several of us that are already planning on going and making it happen. So, you know, Team DSKFS is, is going to happen. We have that stuff kind of getting planned out right there. There's several people, myself, Big Red EDC. Um, I heard Lou might be trying to go. I also know that a Therapeutic Edge Women Carry Knives are going to be there. What's up, Stuff We Do? Welcome, welcome. Um, there's going to be a lot of people there. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Blade Show West or Bust. I think the only thing we're having trouble with right now is, is, is getting that car rental price down. So hopefully they figured the market out by October. That would be great. So, Oh, that'd be great, KJ. Yeah, send you down to Long Beach. Oh, nice. Hollywood's close. Yeah, nice. Swing down there. Heck yeah. So we're trying to figure out, uh, depending on the schedule down there. Um, I think there, you know, Jay, there's always problems with things. I think this year was more blatant on things. You know, there's a lot of theft that happens everywhere, but for the most part, the community is pretty respectful, and I think they dealt with most of the theft problems directly with the people involved. So I'm glad that people saw what was happening and turned stuff in. I know the baby banter is still out there, so if you see a baby banter running around or somebody tried to unload one, um, they probably received that or stole it themselves. So 
I do like the way Ben Peterson handled that though. You know, <laughs> his post on it was kind of, uh, taking the high road. So I like that. Oh, form D productions, man. Thank you so much for the super chat donation. That is very awesome. My friend, thank you very much for your support as always. And I'm excited to see you guys. So I'm excited to meet a lot of you guys down at blade show West. And I know Mikey, you're gonna have to do a road trip, man. And we'll have to go, go rally, you know, but I think one of the cool things is, is we're going to do a meetup of some sort. I don't know if it's going to be before, during, or after. Most likely it'll be during or after. Um, and I think there's some plans for uh, SKL on the road. We're getting those ironed out. We're going to wait to see what the, uh, you know, the Blade Show event's going to be for Saturday night because they usually do something like that. Slim Tissue. Oh, it's like six miles from your house. Right on. Well, we'll have to we'll have to introduce ourselves and meet you down there. That'll be fun. Uh, Deadpool. There was some people just the, that had stole some knives at Blade Show. Uh, I know OCD for EDC talked about it a little bit last night. A couple other channels did, but there was basically some like some high dollar knives, like ten thousand dollar customs that went missing and some other stuff. So they caught somebody that stole a few things and had stole some stuff from people at the pit. Like just, that was just like pocket shopping people. So that's not good either. And luckily they were dealt with by kind hearted people because I know there's some people that were like, man, if that happened to me, there'd be a different outcome, you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely show us around. We'll have fun down there for sure. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, exactly. Nick. Yeah, it's no fun. Thieves are no good and it, and it and it hurts everybody. You know, especially the people that are making the products because, you know, they're they're coming to show off some some stuff they spent a lots of time working on and, you know, they're they're paying the bills with it. And if somebody walks off with it, it just sucks. It sucks cuz everybody's a loser. So, somebody that maybe has been excited to try to get one of those customs and is trying to, you know, bid on it or whatever and then, you know, the person that's actually selling it to, you know, take care of their life and somebody just walks off. It's like, that sucks. Yeah. Someone stole from the roommate too. Yeah. I heard that on OCD stuff. So <laughs> Mikey. <laughs> oh, well let's do a pocket check, man. We have 92 people here. We got a little sidetracked. You guys know what I'm carrying today. You know what I'm carrying. Slim Tissue. Nice. Okay, so you know what I'm carrying. That Hogue, Deca, and Carbon Fiber. I'm going to carry that one again today. Might even carry it tomorrow. It's going to be fighting for some good pocket time. So Rat 1 from Christine and Peter for Tom. Kloss, been carrying the Winger Zach knife today. More than 35 years old. That's pretty cool. Average Knife Guy. Welcome, welcome. Got the Victorinox Tinker and Benchmade Bug Out. Paul Miller's got the Pinion Muller X. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Mula X. And Man X2. D2's got the Demco AD 20.5 Clip Point. That's a nice knife, man. Congratulations. Mark Grant's got the Norseman. Benjamin Kim, welcome. Um, let's see here. RJ Knives got the Victorinox Compact. KJ Pearson's got the CJRB Tigris. And Sog Aegis and Swiss Army Knife Tinker. G Man W, welcome, welcome. He's got the Demco 20.5 and Protect Malibu, carrying some beauties today. DE's got the Mini Bug Out, solid. Paul Besmer's got the Benchmade Grizzly Ridge, I like that knife. DDA's got the Benchmade 945, got one of those right here, of course. Digging that. Uh, Pro X 1840's got the Slenderman OTF. William Lennerman's also got the Protec Malibu. Randy F has the G10 M4 Bug Out. Solid knife. Um, David Lindsay's got the Wilson Combat and Fox ELC Elite Titanium. Elite Titanium. Small Sabenza 31 Makarta Inlay for Dane. John Evans has a Cutlery Shop Shaman and Sharp Dress Knives Makarta Scales. That's probably a beautiful build there. Michael Morgan's got the large Feldspar, extensively modified by Justin OCD for EDC. And a Rough Rider Large Toothpick. Very wonderful. Me with Knives is a Buck Slim 110 
Pro and Cabela's exclusive mini grip. That's nice. Got the little uh, tan scales on that one. Uh, Rusty Knife Lover says, Today's carry is the Hogue Ritter RSK MK1G2, Mini RSK MK1G2, and a Victorinox Pioneer Tinker. Or, I'm sorry, Victorinox Pioneer X. Anton Tony, welcome. He's got the bug out. Andrew Halbert's got the Hogue RSK and RSK1 dash or 1 dash mini. Uh, stuff we do as the Cold Steel Range Boss, the VV Riffle for Uncle Cow. Uh, Talbert Tipton's got the Herrick. Mark Herrera's got the Grizzly Ridge and Tucson TS-221. Kaiser Cormorant Spiderco Watu for Hollywood Tactical. John R's got the Tucson King Fisher Tie M390. Don C's got the International Bug Out, and he's oiling up my HC blades. Corbin Stewart has the Sabenza 31. Napster Ninja, welcome, welcome. He's got the Benchmade 781 Anthem. Slim Tissue's got the BKC 183 Fixed Contigo. And the 4170 Fact. Two great knives. Mikey Rass got the Carbon Fiber Elite Bug Out, but the Neon Green FRN Scales. And the Olight Baton 3 Premium, Premium Blue. And the Dang Surgical Boots. Sorry about that, buddy. I hope your pain's doing better. <laughs> Dennis Watson's got the QSP Parrot and a Finch Tycoon. I won from OCD for EDC. Beautiful knives. John Ross got the Parrot 3 with blast Brass, Flytanium Scales, and a Thai Wingman Clip. Andrew Arnold's got the Mini Osborne and Makarta Victorinox Tinker. Deadpool's uh, -da -da -da. cleaning the bug out while listening. That's the carry today. Perfect. Uh, 945BK-1 for Form D Productions. Buck Greg Ghost for Manny Z. A Fuego welcomes. Got the Tengu GC. Chicago 23's got the Strider AR.75. Top Dog 8762's got the Max A Samurai. Ronald Larimore, welcome, welcome. He's got the GP Knives exclusive Protec Malibu. That's a cool knife. Uh, Kevin Millie's got the wedding. Or he's at a wedding today and rocking the Hogue Deca. Nice. Joseph Phillips got the Hinder Eclipse. David Iverson has the XM24 Swedge Spear and a Case Medium Toothpick. Knives Fast got the AD 20.5 Shark's Foot Finch 1929 MBK Field Trekker. He's got that 20.5. I see that. Leo's got the Jake Hoback Sumo Black and Purple Titanium. Bees Blaze got the AD 20.5 Pair 3. Big Red ADC's got the Benchmade Nakamura, courtesy of Didier. Yeah, those Nakamuras are great, man. I tell you. I, I think my favorite one out of all three that are that are out there and available, well, were available, were uh, they had the wood handles, the carbon fiber, and the G10. I like the carbon fiber one. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Finch Holiday and a CJRB Malia for Z-Man's EDC. Nick Martino's playing with the whole collection today, doing a little stropping while watching Zach stuff. So I have them all. Perfect. I love the choices. Leatherman, Skeletool CX, and an all-black Wii banter for Nebby Cloud. Dark Gravity, welcome, welcome. He's got the Leong Ma Field Duty. Rodney Pearson's got the Mini Adamas and a custom fixed blade. Nice. Now, would that custom fixed blade be made by... Your family member, Ryan Pearson, custom knife maker. Does some awesome work. Uh, Chavez Redencion, Street Black, or Street Tonto Blacked Out for Jay Nor. Nice. Uh, same to same, full size Mini Adamas, or I'm sorry. Same to same, full size Adamas and Mini Osborne for CK. Matt Hatter's got the Spiderco Phil Wilson Sprig. BD Swaim's got the Benchmade Saibu. Uh, oh, you dyed them gray. Nice me with knives. That's cool. Uh, Andrew laughlin has got the Benchmade Mini Freak Natural G10 S90V, which is a solid one. Uh, Pip, welcome, welcome. Just picked up a 940 as my first knife, and I'm hooked. Those 940s are fantastic. That's my favorite knife. All models of it. Well, almost all models of it. No, I'm just kidding. All models of the 940 are favorite. I uh, got the green aluminum. Nice, nice. The Blue Mule for B for Baron. Poncho 151. Welcome, welcome. Member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew is carrying the 8020.5 clip point standard Manix 2 and tops Grandpa's axe. <laughs> Working in the yard. Perfect. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting and being a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew as well. Oh, man. The hooked us all. Exactly, Sean. Very nice. 
I think I got through. Oh, here we go. Kazoo Dan's got the bug out 535-3 summer carry. That's a fabulous knife. Spider Coast way back for Brian Wise. Yeah, definitely. CPM's here. What's up, buddy? Uh, CKF Justice 2.0. Yeah, Jay, the 940 is the gateway to the knife addiction. The Benjamin 940. Do it all. Uh, Brian Weiss says, I have a 940 coming tomorrow. I'll kind of blame you. Uh, I would, I'll take partial on that. I'll take partial. Steep Country, uh, Aramis Carry with Tech Lock and a fully serrated PM2 today. Nice, Benjamin. Any tips on stropping? Um, don't, don't do it too much, you know? Um, do it just enough to get that edge on there and take your time, depending on which strop you got. I have a, I have a diamond, uh, one micron diamond spray for mine. Um, I have the, let's see here if I have it close, somewhat close. Now I got my strop. I know OCD for EDC has, has some too on his channel, but I got mine at the knife house. It's this big brick of micarta. It's got some, uh, some magnetic plates. So you can actually take this plate off that has the leather. But anytime you're doing a, anytime you're stropping, you know, you want to get the whole blade on there, right? And you want to make sure just not to, when you're going through and getting your edge, you know, test it out. You know what I mean? And don't, don't run it off to the side, you know, where you're going to roll the, roll the tip or anything like that. But you just want to try to get the whole blade on there and keep it level. So... Because if you overstrop it, you can basically then make it a little bit duller again. And that's obviously not the goal. You just want to get it back to where it's, you know, shaving arm hair, cutting paper, sliciness. So, yeah, you can strop on pretty much anything. <laughs> but the strops right there, the one that I bought is made from, uh, like I said, a big block of micarta. And it's made by Triple B Handmade, uh, Sean over there. He does some amazing custom work, but he makes those for uh, PDX Knife House and they sell them on there. And I think he also has them up on his uh, website too. Okay, let's see here. We are getting close. Yeah, exactly. Nick says, don't rush. Stay consistent on the angle you're pushing. Uh, there's a PDX Knife House right there. Thanks, Big Red. K20 EP1. Welcome, welcome. Marcos says, Weekend Carry is a blue Protect Malibu and a wee banter. Olight Warrior Mini, Tucson Pry Bar, and B Hanks Hank. Nice. Tom Steins, welcome. Says, Zach, what can you tell me about the Southern Grind Spider Monkey? Besides the great work they do with kids. My view. Thanks, T-Bone. Well, I can tell you that the Spider Monkey is sharp. It's one of the knives that got me good. Um, and, yeah. The, the grinds they do are amazing. Uh, I know they just sold the company itself um, and kind of split it. So that way they have people dedicated just on the knife stuff. And I know Zach Brown and them are still involved. But this the Spider Monkey, I don't have one here, unfortunately. I don't think so. Hold on, let me see. Let me check one place. Just want to double check. Yeah, I don't have one out here with me. But I will say, it's a great knife. It's a great knife. It's a good size. It's kind of that middle size between like a Deca, a Bug Out, and like a Griptilian. It's kind of that middle size. They have some beautiful finish to it. Um, the clip is short. It's kind of a short wide clip. You know, if it was, if you're comparing it to this one, it probably is only like this long, the clip is. But it actually works really well. Um, I had some, some, you know, mental concerns with it, but they ended up just being that. I know Big Red had the red G10 one for a while, and that one, he enjoyed carrying it. So, same to same. What's up, Kiefer? Welcome, welcome, and thanks for being a member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Uh, you're carrying the Dalka, of course, and the Sabenza, just in case. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Tom, I've heard people saying you can strop on, like, your jeans. I've never heard on the inside of your forearm but 
I would I would probably use a an, an item other than my body parts to strop on, just for safety reasons. But you never know. <laughs> yeah, Keith, if you follow his Instagram, man, he's got some really cool things over there, where he's always he's always taking that Dalek on adventures on his own adventures. Okay, so. I would say we should probably do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. And if the person that donated this doesn't mind, I would like to share who donated it. So I think he's here in the chat as well. An awesome member of the community. And I do have to say this. I did not pre-prep a swag bag. So we're going to build one really quick while we chat. But we're going to do the Southern Edge Knife Works. We're going to do Big Red EDC, of course. Jake from St Jake from Ohio State, welcome, welcome. Um, Big Red, if you put your link up to your channel, make sure you're subscribed to him. We're working to get him to 5,000 as well. Uh, Hollywood says, Chuck Norris uses his Dalka to strop diamonds. Exactly. You're going to get a little, fil little Fit Devil sticker as well. Let's see what else we have in here. We're gonna do, you're gonna get an arc form sticker. Has some really cool stickers in here. Oh yeah, look at these. You're gonna get a voodoo donut sticker. Can't go wrong with voodoo. Yeah, honestly, I was just trying to strop on the inside of my arm. I wasn't doing anything else with it. Yeah, that's a hard one to explain for sure. Now, knife pivot lube. They're doing an awesome sale as well for Father's Day. I think it's a BOGO. But they have these... What's up, Grateful Panic? How's it going, man? Um, they have these awesome knife care swabs. They work great. You can get in there and clean your knife without taking it apart. I'm going to throw a couple of those in there. They're microfiber. They're washable. So you can rinse them under a sink and uh, reuse them once they dry out. So that's pretty terrific. So we're just building this as we go. So thanks for hanging with me for a minute while we build this cool thing. We got some Zach stuff. We can't throw it on top of Big Red stuff. So you'll probably get a little more in this one since we're building it while we go. Because why not, right? DSKFS. We'll get a bigger Zach stuff sticker. Gotta go big. How about a holographic Zach stuff or DSKFS, I mean? Can't go wrong with the holographics. We'll put that there with the voodoo. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, we have, of course, you're going to get a DSKFS patch. Do something kind for someone patch. We're going to put that up there as well. And, you know, I just happen to have a few things that are kind of exclusive and you know me if I can get some exclusive stuff I want to share it but we're gonna do some bench made swag how about that we got some bench made swag is this one open I don't think that one's open yet well we need to open that one Oh, thanks, Nick. Well, you know, stickers are important. Swag's important. Giving back's important. You know, that's why I do the channel. It's just to have fun. Enjoy it. There's some more Benchmade swag. I think these two next things from Benchmade will be cool. Let's see here. I should have prepped it, you guys. I'm so sorry. This is a keychain from Benchmade Knife Company. It's fat. It's factory store exclusive. So you can only get this if you went to the factory store. We're going to put that out there as well. Oh, 10 for 10K. Thanks, Big Red. That's super nice of you, man. Let's show, show some love for Big Red. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you know, I have to just, you know, shout out to people looking out for me, you know. That's all I can say. People, and they, and they know about you guys, you know what I mean? 
So people come across some stuff and they're like, oh, we found a couple swag things. Like this would be great for, you know, doing some giveaways for you guys. So, haha, <laughs> Didier. And of course we got a Benchmade Blue Benchmade sticker. You can't forget that. So we'll put that out there as well. So what do you guys think? That's good enough for the swag. I think that would be a good swag pack. We'll throw that stuff out there. Now, let's see. I may have missed it, but we're going to go ahead and do this giveaway. And it's going to be a pretty awesome giveaway item. So, let me move a couple things. All I can say is, this is going to be a fantastic giveaway. So, it comes in this box right here. I don't know if you guys recognize the three stars here. But, this is a pretty awesome one. So, I, I hopefully you're okay with this, me mentioning who it came from. I forgot to look while I was doing building my own swag bag there, so I apologize. But I'll look to see if you're okay with it. And if so, I'll mention who it came from. But this is an awesome, awesome, yes, do something kind for someone for sure. We got some, we got extras though. So you can kind of build it how you want. Like literally extras. We got the JG10 scales for it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. So let me get this big box out of the way. And I just want to tell you that this stuff was donated as a giveaway by our good friend, Rodney Pearson. So let's show some love for Rodney. All about doing something kind for someone. Thank you, my friend. It's an awesome giveaway. So make sure to give a shout out to Rodney. And you're also getting the backer exclusive holographic knife or half a uh, holographic sticker of the knife, I'm sorry, that only came with people who backed the GoFundMe or the, the Kickstarter Kickstarter campaign. So this is cool stuff. So Rodney, thank you so very much. You also get the Orion Knives pocket pen with it. It's got the custom markings on it, as you can see, Orion Knives. And the belt, which the three stars for Orion Knives is for... Blade Banner, who this is, who is Orion Knives, but it's for his sons. Push the button. That's the idea behind it. So this is like brand new in the package, man. Thank you so much. It's got the blue G10. Let's wipe some of that off real quick. So it's brand new, brand new. Thank you so much, Rodney. That is fantastic. What do you guys think? The Orion Knives Solaris. Black G10. Got that stone wash blade. Blue pivot accents. And G10 backspacer. It's the button lock. Flipper. Thumb stud. All sorts of fidgetness. All sorts of fantasticness right here. And if you don't like that, he included the JG10 scales which come with the backspacer and the, and the green aluminum pivot collars. So, so, so friggin' awesome. Thank you so much, Rodney, for donating this. This is a fantastic giveaway right here on the channel. So it even shows you how to tear it apart and all the good stuff. So, wow, right? Holy moly. This is a holy smokes moment from Big Red's stealing a little bit of his saying definitely a holy smokes so yeah so you can do it you could do jade with blue you could do jade with green you could mix it up you can do one scale of each on each side just craziness so rodney thank you so much my friend this is an awesome giveaway now if you guys don't know about the giveaway and how we do it here live on the channel we're basically going to do a number game where you're going to guess one number and i'm going to give you the, the the number spread here in a minute but you're going to guess one number one time only and it's going to be the closest without going over and if we have two people who guess it right on or three people whatever or if they're the closest then we'll do a round two just with those people uh, my screen and the moderator screen 
will be the official. So myself, I think, let's see, who's moderator on here right now? Big Red. I think Keith, Keith is as well, Kiefer. So we got some moderators here in the chat, so that's awesome. Thank you guys for your help as well. And thank you, Big Red, for all your help on the on the links today. That's awesome. So we're going to do a number spread, which I will give you here in a minute. But we are going to do a number spread that is fun times. We're going through all of them. We're like, man, which number do we use? Um, but it's one of those things, you know. Oh, Jada, thank you so much. Let's show some love for Jada. Thank you so much for the Super Chat donation. That's super awesome. Um, I did also hear that even though he's knifeless right now in New York, that's like a that's like a good title for a video, knifeless in New York. Um, but OCD for DC said he's going to be going live later tonight, um, 8 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pacific. So look for that. It'll be fun. I heard some I heard that there might be some uh some fun lives from the the hotel. <laughs> Knifeless in New York. Jada, thank you so much again. And thank you so much, Rodney. Now we are going to go ahead and do a giveaway number spread. As soon as we see a start from our big our friend Big Red DC. And I'm going to put this out here. I'm going to try to put it underneath the knife here so everybody can see the paper, but not the number. Story time. I'm excited to hear story time. There's got to be a good story about the, about the lost luggage too. So hopefully that turns up sooner than later with your knives in it. Okay, so there's the start. So the number spread, one guess, one guess only. It'll be between 300 and 499. So one guess only between 300 and 499. One guess only. If you do have more than one guess, then we'll start deleting your guesses. Because we got to play fair. Because we got an awesome giveaway. Thanks to Rodney Pearson. Thank you so much. It's fantastic. We got guesses going out there. Guesses are rolling. Grateful Panic. Yeah, he did a little live last night too. Had to jump on there for a little bit. Of course, uh, I think, let's see. I think a Therapeutic Edge Women Carry Knives said they have family in town. I think that's what they said last night on SKL. So they will not be going live today, but always putting out good content. Members of Team DSKFS for sure. Yeah, Andrew, you know, it's, it's the community, man. You know, I had some stuff planned and then Rodney's like, Hey, I got, I got some stuff I'm going to send to you. I'm like, okay. And he's like, this would be perfect for a giveaway on the live. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, Nick, I forgot to tell you the number again. Oh yeah. I'll have to plan that better next week, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely throw those numbers out there for sure. Some Bama fans here. Jace LHY is here. Delia Rose is here. Christopher Lundstrom's here. Smash that like button, CK says. Yeah, if we could get, we have 105 people. If we get everybody to smash the like button, get over 100 likes, that'd be awesome. We'll give it another minute or two here. But I will say, there's some exciting stuff coming up. Don't forget, there was a giveaway out there that the drawing will be today for. I was waiting for stuff to come in. I didn't realize how long it would take to get an Olight shipped here. So, oh, Paul, that's good to hear, man. Man, Paul had to go through some some wild times with his with his pet cat, and it was like seriously one of those things where nobody wants to be in that situation. So, I am so glad to hear that your cat is recovering well. That was good to hear. Central Park Saga is here. Mark Ruddle. 
It's like getting moon rocks delivered. Yeah, I don't, I, that was a weird thing, you know. Other, than, <coughs> excuse me. Other intended purpose. I was trying to say your screen name, and I was like, oh, choking up. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, we are doing the giveaway. The guess is one number between three hundred and four ninety nine. So one guess, one guess only. Make sure to get your guess in there. But yeah, you guys. The Olight, I was like, you know, because they're all about like the sales and everything else. And I was like, oh, they still have this in stock. And it was, it goes with, you know, the stuff I was giving away. And I was like, oh, and yeah, thanks. Nice fast. Oh, you picked a different number. All right. All right. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, <laughs> DHL is a lot faster. Yeah, I had some good experience with DHL from a couple different places. One was where I bought my first set of patches a couple years ago, the Zach Stuff patches. Which, you know what? I think they're close. Hold on. I might be able to grab one of those, too. Let's throw one of those in. This will be a super... A super giveaway. We got. We still got a few of these left. The Zach stuff Velcro patches. We'll throw that in with the DSKFS patch. Heck yeah. Okay, Sean Lowe's got a vote in as well. I think we got all the numbers in. Beaver Baron's got his in. Jared White's got his guess in. Ooh, doo -doo. Okay, well, I think we'll wrap it up. We're at 95 likes, so if you haven't liked it, let's see if we can get it to 100 likes. We'll close that out. What's up, Newfoundland Knife Guy? Did you get your vote in as well? We're doing one guess, one guess only between 300 and 499 for this sweet giveaway. <laughs> Casey's like, shoosh. Heck yeah, we got those likes up there. Thank you guys so much. Somebody downvoted? <laughs> That's how it goes. You need Olights, I've got you. Okay, nice. K20EP's got the vote in. Yeah, definitely. The the Olight, I, would, I didn't realize like the Olights were, I mean, once you get a delivery, I guess you got to order up and, and get a few of them at the same time just to be prepared. Somebody accidentally pushed the thumbs down. <laughs> no, that reserves the right depending on the outcome. That's funny. Okay, so uh, there's the stop signs right there from Big Red. Um, K20EP, I think we got yours on there. I don't know how it showed up on Big Reds, but... Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to have to scroll back, knock the camera over, and do some stuff with this one. Let's see here. So the winning number would be closest to 404 or 404. So we'll go back and take a peek and see what we got. Make sure we didn't miss any. <laughs> KJ. KJ, I see a 397 from Mark Ruddle. Uh, oh, there's a 403 from Bama Fan. Bama Fan's a 403. Is that going to be the winner? How did we do? 399, 396. I'm scrolling back. I'm looking. I'm looking. There's a 405. Oh, Tom had 405 just over. There's a 401 from Sean. 408 from Pro X. 400 from John. A lot of close ones. So I think I I think Bama fans got it going with 403. Bama fan. What do you think, Big Red? Bama fan with 403. Well, congratulations, Bama fan. Uh, send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. Um, and we will get this for you. I'm just writing down your info on here. Um, but, yeah, we'll get your win confirmed up. And that's awesome, you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. Um, I look forward to this other giveaway that I'm going to do. I'm basically going to film it right after this one. And I'll post it up so everybody can see it. 
Uh, I have some great reviews coming out on the Wii Thug, some of the other uh, concept knives that are out there and things that have been sent in. Additionally, make sure to watch those other videos on concept or whatnot. Even if you don't 100% like the knife, um, but maybe you wouldn't mind winning it, just saying. There might be some opportunities like that. Concept's been very generous, as well as a couple others. So there's some really cool concept knives that are coming out for review. Um, thanks again to Rodney Pearson. Thanks, huge thank you to Big Red EDC uh, and OCD for EDC for making sure I got taken care of with this amazing Hogue Deca. Um, I'm excited. This Gen 2 version, I hope they, you know, they said, they confirmed already that moving forward, any of the production models and the regular G Mascus that they already put out will have this new liner scale design with the reduction in screw count and the deep carry clip. So I'm excited to see that. They also said this carbon fiber one will be coming up probably later this fall. Uh, we may see it sooner. It just depends on their manufacturing, of course. But pretty cool, awesome stuff. Big Red, uh, thanks again, my friend. Throw a link up to your channel. Make sure you're subscribed to Big Red EDC. Um, so many great channels in here as well. So many great people. Huge thank you and shout out to Zach's Day, the carry crew. Um, you guys are going to get some extra videos, one today and another one later this week. Um, yeah, starting a, starting a new gig tomorrow and we'll kick off the week strong. So yeah, Grateful Panic, <laughs> good live last night as well. Right on, Randy, in on the DECA. Yeah, thanks, Keith, for being a moderator and always your support as well. Uh, there's a Bruise with Blades coming up later today. Um, I think it's 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern. I get the times mixed up, but I think he's at 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern, over on Slicey Dicey's channel. So, yeah, you guys, awesome. Thank you so much. Make sure to do something kind for someone. We're always doing that. I know you guys live that every day. Um, it's fantastic. So you'll be seeing more of that stuff pop up. And I appreciate all the kind words and the support you guys have given me. It's pretty fantastic. So I have some, some cool stuff coming up, like I said. Some more giveaways as well. We're getting really close to the 10K. And it's for you guys. So I'm, I'm excited to get that going because, you know, the closer I get, the more excited I get and it's fun stuff so you guys have an awesome rest of your day thanks for joining me here on the live stream but most importantly you guys take care